Welcome to The Cindy Rushton Show. Encouraging, empowering, and equipping as you step into your calling and life purpose. Here is your hostess, Cindy Rushton. Good morning. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me here for our new episode. And today I have a treat in store for you. Well, before we dig in, I do want to say welcome and I want to invite you over to check out my website. There at the website, you can see the show notes for today's show. You can also check out other episodes that I am absolutely positive you're going to love. And of course, you can stay connected with me there. You have links directly to everything I do my email list, my social media, and you can also subscribe to this podcast using Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or whatever your favorite is. Well, you guys, are you ready to dig in? This episode is actually a replay, but this is such an important replay because this comes from a series on the topic of stepping up to your call who are you? And today we look at, yes, you. Oh, oh, grab a big cup of tea, settle in for a bit. I think you're going to love this show. Hello, sweet friends. How are you guys doing today? I want to welcome you to my five-day live series that is right here for you right now. It's called Stepping Up to the Call. Who are you? Think about that for a moment. Well, we'll dig into that in just a moment, but this is day one of the series, and the topic is actually, yes, you. Stepping up to the call, yes, you. Um, This is part of a bigger series that you are not going to want to miss. In fact, um, be sure to hop over to my YouTube channel. It's found at Cindy Rushton dot com forward slash YouTube and there you can subscribe to my feed and as a result when you subscribe to that channel and that feed you'll be able to um, get a reminder for each and every one of the broadcasts that we have we're gonna have five in this series and then we have even more things coming so don't miss that and get, just go give me some love on that YouTube channel you guys um, I am definitely uh, we just launched it we are building it and I have got some amazing things I'm excited to be sharing there everything from whole events all the way to my podcast as well as different live series that are going to be just for you so this is just one definitely check in and um, if, if you want an email reminder just hop over to cindyrushton.com and look for stay connected or scroll down the page and when you see stay connected you can subscribe to my email list and even when you do that you get one recording that is totally free only for those who subscribe there and that's called the power of an hour so uh Take advantage of these things. These are things that I'm pouring out because I want to see you step up to your call. Okay, so for today, let's take a few minutes just to go before the Lord and ask Him to be our teacher, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for today, and I thank you for this series. I know that this series comes from your heart, Lord, because you so want us to know who we are as we step into your calling that you have for us, because you have a specific calling for each and every one of us. And it is all wrapped around who who you've called us to be, who you've created us to be, who you've designed us to be, who you've purposed for us to be. And God, I just ask you to be our teacher this week. Lord, speak to us, not just when we are live in in these sessions, but also speak to us and teach us afterwards. My prayer is that this will be an invitation to a conversation with you, Lord. And so, Lord, I know you won't fail us. I just thank you. Lord, just be with us in this session and all throughout the week. For us in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, you guys, this is part of a bigger series that I know you're not going to want to miss. Each day for the next five days, I'm going to be sharing on the topic of stepping up to the call who are you? Okay. So when I ask you, who are you? 
Can I ask you what comes through your mind? Do you have a myriad of things like there's some hopeful, there's a feeling of hope, there's a feeling of excitement, there's maybe even some feelings of fear and trepidation. Maybe you are thinking, oh my goodness, Cindy, that's tough. Well, grab your pen, grab your paper. I want to ask you some questions that are really going to be provoking that I pray are going to truly be an invitation to a conversation with God. That's my prayer. That's my hope. And I believe that these things can get past all the web clutter. It can get past all of the things that are trying to buy and get your attention today. And it can truly get down to what really will make a difference for you. I believe that this topic uh, this week that we're going to be covering over the next five days can truly change everything. So, okay, got your pen, got your paper, you ready? <laughs> I want to ask you, who are you? Just who are you? Do you know who you are? I mean, not your roles. I'm not talking about, you know, the, the typical answer for a lot of people, and I'm not judging this, would be I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a son, I'm a, 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 I'm a, a homeschooler, I go to this church, or I'm a Baptist, Methodist, non-denominational, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat. Okay, hold on. It's not the things that we do. It's not the roles we fill. It's not the achievements that we have. It's not the accomplishment of degrees. And I value every bit of this. I just want to tell you that I value these things, but these are not what makes you, you. It's not your possessions or for some of you, a lack thereof. Maybe some of you are feeling like you're not of value because you don't have a lot of stuff or you don't have a home or you don't have a whatever husband child. What? Th th that is so common. And so today, no, I'm not talking about your possessions. I'm not talking about your achievements. I'm not talking about your job. I'm not even talking about your story today, whether it's good or whether it's really, really bad. No, no. Those things are not a maker of who you are. They're not. They don't determine who you are. Okay, am I rattling your cage there a little? No, no, no. I, I, I want to tell you, I don't want, I, I, I want for us to dig deeper because I believe that this is, that everything is balancing on this. So all, the, all of those things are wonderful and they're great. That's not what I'm talking about today. That's not what I'm talking about over the next couple of days. I mean, who are you? Who are you? Don't give me just some light, surfacey little answer. I'm talking about who are you? Do you know? Okay, now hold on. If you're saying, Cindy, I don't know. Oh, this is going to be good. You have to be a part of this. This is for you. This is to come alongside of you and help you. And, and I really, truly believe that this is a message just for you. Okay. So don't miss even one. Okay. But what has God put inside of you? Like, how are you wired? Like, what is it that's on your heart? What is it that you I'm not talking about what you do or, or, or what you have. I'm talking about the essence of you, the real you. What is, what is that thing that's pressing on your heart? It's an indicator. The thing that's burning on your heart, it's an indicator of who you are. And, and I'm asking you these questions because I want for these to be questions that you dig into tonight with the Lord, okay? So what burns on, on your heart? What is, what is burning inside of you, moving inside of you? What is that thing? That, that part of you, maybe you, as far as you go back, it's that, 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 that person you keep going back to that thing, that person that maybe you even run from, but that that's you. I want you to think on this big question. I'm not giving you answers today on purpose on purpose, because tonight I want for you to really soak in the presence of God. And I want for you to ask him to speak to you. Oh, 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 if I could ask you just write down the one question, I want you to ask God, God, who is it 
that you say I am? Who am I? Why am I here? What am I supposed to be about? Oh, there's some treasures that await you. Yes, over the next five days, we're going to dig deep on this one. I believe that this is so important because it is vital that you know who God says you are. It's important. It's vital. It is truly the building block of everything else. You've got to know who he says you are and you've really got to believe it. You've got to receive it. You've got to dare to step into that. So you are exactly who God says you are and, and you can do exactly what he says you can do. And, and he is going to make sure that you have, uh, that you can do all those things he's put on your heart that, that are the things you're alone supposed to do. No one else can do it for you. I, I, I was in a, a, an online conference earlier this morning and I saw someone say, I just don't think I can do this. Somebody else can do it. No, no. There was no one else who could do Moses's job. There was no one else who could be Ruth or Naomi or Rahab. There was no one else who could be Peter, promise you, huh? <laughs> There's no other than Jesus. God has, he's wired each and every one of us and you are who he says you are. And here's one more step. You can do what God says you can do. It may seem impossible. It may seem like you don't have the resources. It may seem like that there's no possible way that it can happen because of you. Exactly. But you can do everything God says you can do because he's the one who strengthens you. He's the one partnering up with you. He's the one who has given you everything you need to be able to do everything he calls you to do. And you have everything that God says you have. I just want you to stop for just a moment. We're going to come in, unpack this this week of really looking at that you are the beloved of God. You are his beloved. You are so chosen that he chose you to be his son's bride, to be one at one minute with his, with his very son. And that places you in the family of God. In covenant with God means you are in his family and you have access to everything that he has access to, which is everything. Okay. Come on. You have everything that you will ever need to do everything you're called to do. And it, it, he, so you've got to believe that you have everything God says that you have. You also have to believe that he is exactly who he says he is. Oh, this is going to get good. We have a whole day. We're going to unpack just one of his names. Okay. Well, actually it's seven, but, or nine, but anyway, who's counting, right? We are going to look at what that means for you because I promise you, he wants to be and become the God who is your covenant God who goes alongside of you every step of the way. And I can, I know you've got to know this. I know that he is my covenant God and that he will, he's, he is everything he says he is. I believe that. And I believe that this is secret to your success. You, you can believe that he is exactly who he says he is because he is and that he can do every single thing that he says he can do and that he's going to do it for you and through you. We're going to unpack this this week and we're only really getting started. So I do want to make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hop over to cindyrushton.com forward slash YouTube and follow me, subscribe to me. I need some, I need some, uh, channel love over there because I don't even get to have my own name until we have a hundred subscribers. So you guys, if I could have one thing I could wish for, come and follow me and subscribe to me. But also it's more than that. Don't miss one of these specific sessions because these sessions this week are so foundational. They're going to help you to know the answer that, to get this, in a week when someone asks you who you are, you're going to be able to answer them. That's, that's huge. That's just so huge. And I want that for you. So follow me, 
connect with me. Don't miss a day. If you have to miss a day, hey, no problem. You can always go back and listen to these on replay at YouTube. And you can also subscribe to the channel where you can subscribe exactly to these specific audios and videos. So grab them there. Be a part of what I'm doing because you know what? You are the reason I do what I do. You are my tribe. You are my community. I'm so glad that you're here. And we are going to have amazing time. If you want email reminders, again, I mentioned that at the top of the broadcast. If you want email reminders, hop over to cindyrushton.com. Look for Stay Connected. You can even scroll down the page. There's the little form. I have a surprise for you. When you subscribe and you confirm your email, then you're going to receive access to one of my other free teachings, totally free teachings. It's called The Power of an Hour. If you've been stuck long enough or you have no idea how to get in your life the things that really matter to you, Power of an Hour is for you. So, and it's totally free. It's my blessing just to say thank you for, for you for you being a part of what I'm doing. And so definitely grab those things. So in other words, hop over to cindyrushton.com. Join me. Be a part of what I have going on. This is for you. And until tomorrow at 2 p.m., I'm going live on my Facebook page with this. So hop over there. Join us there if you want to be live or catch the replay. Got it? Thank you so much for being a part. And I want to just close this in prayer and just, um, I, I just ask you to go before the Lord and ask him to take this, take this teaching and to really speak to your heart because he's got some beautiful things he wants to speak to you today. Okay, you ready? Let's just go to him in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for this message. Lord, I thank you that in five days, we're going to know so much better who you say we are. And God, I just thank you so much. We are not based on the things we do and the things we have and the things that we've experienced. And, and Lord, instead, we are exactly who you say we are. Help to teach us this. Move in our hearts. Help us to truly understand how precious, how beloved we are, what it means to have beloved identity, Lord. I just praise you. I thank you for each and every person represented here. I pray you bless their homes, bless their, the works of their hands. I pray you bless their, their outreach and their influence, Lord. You're so good. And we just give you all the glory, you all the honor. We want to be faithful image bearers on your behalf. And so, Lord, just fill us up. Fill us up to overflowing. Speak to us. Lord, teach us who we are. Oh, thank you, Lord. You're so good. For it's in Jesus' beautiful name we pray. Amen. Well, you guys, I will see you then tomorrow, 2 p.m. or on replay. Either way. I'm just so glad you're here. Check me out at cindyrushton.com. And that's a wrap for The Cindy Rushton Show. We will be back next week for another awesome show. If you can't wait until then, check out other great episodes and our show notes online at our website, cindyrushton.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our show at any of your favorite podcast services so you don't miss even one episode. 